I'm watching the two videos that we were assigned. Um, they're both very interesting. The first video, however, I didn't like as much because it talks about fish dying and sea life and is very sad. Um, I liked watching the second video, video um, of Monica, which teaches us all about the use of plastic and how we should have zero waste systems. Um, a question that we ask is, where do plastics come from? Plastics come from many places. Um, if you just think about the plastic that cups that you drink out of, or the foods that you eat that are wrapped in plastic or are made from plastic, and if you start thinking about it, it's actually a lot, and it's easy to come up with where the plastic comes from. Two million plastic beverage bottles are used every five minutes, which is a very lot of plastic. Um, I knew that we used a lot, but two million every five minutes is a really lot. Um, another question that we ask is, what are the relationships between health, economics, environmentalism, justice, and plastic use? All of these have to do together. Um, they all relate to each other and the use of plastic. Um, as far as health goes, in the first video where I didn't like that they talked about sea life dying, it was very sad that they eat all this plastic. Um, there was a fact that over one third of fish had polluted plastic in their stomach. And there was animals that were found on the beach dead and they had their stomachs were full of pl plastic and bottle caps, mostly bottle caps. Which is really sad to think about. The economy is affected, for example, in De Detroit is a very is very poor, and they pay hundred and seventy dollars a ton to burn trash. But if they had a zero waste system, then they would save money and create jobs, which would be a lot better for the economy. I also found it very interesting that there's. 1,100 bottle caps on Long Beach. Long Beach is a place that everybody knows about or has heard about. Um, I've heard about it, but I haven't been there. But it's a place that people like to go. And to know that there was that many bottle caps on the beach is very disturbing. Um, the incinerators. When Monica was talking about the incinerators, that was very interesting to me. Because I didn't know to the extent of how bad they were for our economy. The incinerators, the incinerators create a lot of pollution, which creates more toxin than what went into the incinerators in the first place. Um, she talks about how bad they are for you. Um, as far as what steps I may take, or we may take, or you may take, to reduce plastic use. Um, it's an overwhelming thing, problem, that the whole world is going through. Um, Monica talks in her video about how we need to stop it on land before it gets to the ocean. The solution is to stop the plastic at its source. Um, people could get together and they could go by the ocean and pick everything up, um, but stopping it at the source is also stopping how much we use like plastic cups or buy things that are wrapped in plastic, wrap them in other sorts of things, reuse glass cups so that we don't use plastic cups, simple ways just like that, um, or yes, just doing simple things like that can really help. And if we start doing things like that and start showing awareness, then hopefully it will make a difference.